patriarchy. But like that, after losing the Roosters game, uh, the Roosters game, we flipped to the other side of the draw and ended up having to play the Dragons. I remember running out that season and having, I think it was seventy three thousand at um, ANZ. It was a pass, oh. man. And it was a mean game too. They ended up winning eight six. Controversial. Like Takiri got need in the back, and like these days they would have stopped it and yeah. called a penalty. But back then they were like play on. Mm-hmm. We would have kicked the goal at eight all, but. No, the hero. I'm not salty. I'm not mad. Right? Yeah. Nine years ago. Nah. But then, <laughs> before like, you go to sleep at night. <laughs> Yeah. Well, well we used to start it like this this weird way and then we realized it was really really cringe yeah so now <laughs> so now we're struggling for a new way to start it do you have a do um, you have an intro idea for us what's the show it's called on, on, the, on radar. the radar on the radar welcome to on the radar nice. ah, welcome, welcome to, to on the radar, radar. <laughs> and we are gladly oh what's the word happily happily, happily. amazing joined by blake ashford blake former nrl player blake ashford if you don't Mind, um, Blake, how are you going today? I'm good, man. I'm good. Not nice. too busy. I'm, uh, cold in Auckland, but, you know, it's good down here. <laughs> yeah. Nice little setup. It's, all, like it's all right down here. It's all right. So, it's Blake, do right. you want to tell us a bit about yourself and a bit of background information? On- um, So, uh, grew up in Sydney. Great place. Yep, great place. Great place to grow up. Yeah, where I grew up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I grew up in Botany, um, which is close to Mascot, where everyone gets off the, the planes right near the airport. Oh, yeah. So I grew up around, I grew up around there. Um, obviously, you know, played uh, footy as a young kid um, with the Paddington Tigers and also played the Quidgy Wombats. Are they good teams? Those two, their class. I have no idea what club teams are like over there. Yeah, well, it's different over here. Yeah, I suppose. Um, like there's a, there's a lot more teams mm-hmm. over in Aussie, and oh, back in the day there was not anymore. Yeah. But these the Roosters and the South teams were joined together. So Paddington Tigers is on the Roosters side. Oh, okay. And could you run the South team? So are these all feeder clubs? Is that like? No, oh, no, so they're like, just like yeah, um, club teams. Yeah, like a Richmond uh, or a, like they're like that. So um, yeah, grew up there, play play footy there. Um, went to Paddington uh, Public School, and that's now it's Paddington's known, um, you know, as a bit of an upper class. But back uh-huh. back in the day, before everything got developed, it wasn't wasn't the best. Um, but Some you know, classic gentrification. Mm, well, my my dad was one of one of ten, and he grew up in Paddington. Oh. Yeah, so, oh, like, so you got. Yeah. What, oh, nine, nine, uh, uncles, aunties. Oh. Yeah, yeah, two aunties, eight, uh, seven uncles. So, um, yeah, big family for Aussie family anyway. We're big, um, but always grew up around them. And my mum's only one of two; she's just got oh, a okay. sister. So, but um, no, nah, man, just grew up around all my aunties and uncles and lots of cousins. And yeah. It was good. Um, went from there. Um, we was like, yeah, went from there, and that's basically where I grew up. Um, don't know. Can keep going. Yeah, we yeah. in we in Rooster system. Is that is was, that how? Yeah. So well, I, I transferred to the Coogee Wombats in the Souths okay. system. But when it was time at 13s, you have a development over there. So you go yep. 13s, 14s, 15s, yep. which they don't. I don't think they have here. I'm not too know. sure. Yeah. yeah, we've got. I think under 16s is the first sort of yeah NRL kind of. Well, level. so you have like Parramatta Roosters mm-hmm. or there, but you don't play. You only play certain teams. But yep. we we're in the 13s Roosters. I could have tried for the 13 Souths, but yep. I took the easy way out because the Roosters don't really have many juniors. So I knew <laughs> sort of like we had, they, had, they had two teams. So I basically had to be, I had to be one of what, say about 35 or something, yeah, yeah. 36 yep. to sort of make that uh, squad. Yeah, yeah. And I think the squad was like 30 anyway. That's a smart play though. Like that it is yeah. a smart play. It's, it's, yeah. it's yeah. the same sort of, you know, obviously worked out quite well, but yeah. you know, like, Rather than playing for a team that's, you know, got heaps, heaps of stars, if you're going to be in the same place somewhere else, might as well. Yeah, well, that, that was the thing, bro. I was thinking, oh, I want to try out South. South had, like, 10 teams. Roosters had two. <laughs> so I'm like, and it, and it sort of did work out because it developed. And majority of our team actually went, I went to high school with, we all made that side. Oh, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Just the high school team. Bro, it was the best, there. it was the best, like, growing up because I was with these boys at school. Mm-hmm. Two days a week for training, <laughs> playing on the weekend or playing during the week with the Roosters and then on the weekend with them. So it was like yeah. one day of the week we wouldn't be with each other. Yeah. And it was just like... You guys all still mates now? Yep. 
still mates now. We're obviously gone. Well, I'm over here now. Yeah. One of my mates has turned, uh, what should I say, turned, but he's now a pastor. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Like he's that. in Melbourne. Um, and a couple of, and, and the rest of our mates are obviously in Sydney and yeah. still in contact. But it's good, man. We all keep in contact, have our group chats and things. And That's I, the best days. I like high school friends are like, it's weird. Like some people you see, they like immediately lose them like as soon as they, but it, it's cool when you can keep like a core group of that's friends the thing, their yeah. whole life. Yeah. And that's the thing. I reckon it's, it's the, the, like, I can't say that the best times in my life. Cause now, I've, you know, I've obviously had yeah. kids married and everything, but before I that. enjoy. <laughs> yeah. Those are the best yeah. times before yeah. that. <laughs> Those times, man. But the, the dudes that you do anything for and the dudes yeah, yeah. that um, 100%. 100%. have, you've been through some stuff that, you know, people don't see like how I've made that error, but people don't know the story about them or what everything yeah, we've yeah. been through, you know? So it's, it's, um, it's something that I always cherish, man, with those mm. fellas. Yeah, but it's always good when I get to go back. I think there's only two more. Oh, one of the boys divorced now, so now three more weddings. So it's hard because we catch up. We catch up whenever I go back, but it's um, it's usually like you know at a wedding yeah, for a big thing. And yeah, you're yeah. running out of weddings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> running out of weddings. One of us. Oh, shit, yeah, I'm get really, divorced. I'm kind of this, <laughs> I'm kind of the same boat as you. Like every time I go, back, like my mate just got married like last year, and like it's always good because I've been here for like three years now. Yeah, but every time I go back, it's just like oh, it's the best feeling of your high school mates. It is, man. Yeah, you just so you talk about the same stuff you talked about like you, all the time. Every time you, you're drinking and you talk about the yeah. same stories you did, and you can and you can just be <laughs> like be yourself, and not have to like yeah, 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 no. put on a show for anything or yeah. you know or like um, sometimes if you're trying to please someone <laughs> to get a job or but you know but when you're with them you're just like relax and like was um in Devon and all boys school. No, so Endeavour was a um, unisex school for yeah. boys and girls, but it was a sports school. Oh, so okay. I went to Morris College, <laughs> Pagewood. Um, so when I, when I went to Paddington Primary School, mm-hmm. I um, I had like an auntie um, who used to, my parents just drop her at the house and she used to live down the road. She used to take us every day to school and back. And she's like the best lady I've ever met, Margie. Mm-hmm. And she's uh, Margie, Margie. Margie Hartley. <laughs> Annie Marge, Annie Marge. And she's, um, you know, she did all this, like, it's not like she was getting paid or anything. She just, like, loved our fam- like the families had grown up together. And she was awesome, man. She still sends my kids, like, birthday money and oh, things. Even, cool. even <laughs> change it to New Zealand currency, yeah. like, everything. Most thoughtful lady ever. And she'd um take us. But then it got a bit hard with my parents' work. So then we, I changed to a Catholic school. Oh, okay. And then... Obviously went from there into the Catholic school in year seven over there, which is I don't know how it works over here. I think so. I think year seven is one year ahead. Yeah, year eight here. So oh, I could know. Yeah, yeah so you're one year behind. Yeah, because so, well, year twelve finished, was last year. year. Yeah, yeah. Like but that. we I went to there, but then when I went to, I was sort of wasn't really enjoying Catholic school mm-hmm. the most. Um, Good old mass. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> mass on there is not it's, like it's um, the worst there. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like I'm Catholic, but. Um, <laughs> I suppose, but, yeah. yeah, I haven't been to church in a long time. Yeah, well, but, um, it's the whole, like, thing, it's, like, you, you can be Catholic, but you can be sort of, like, your, your own Catholic for yep. yourself, you know? And, yeah, like, you don't have to... Yeah, well, I still it. believe in God, yeah, yeah. you know? Um, obviously, just don't practice, yeah. like, um, going to Mass and um, spreading the word or anything like yeah. that. But, yeah, but... Um, it's a bit more personal for you? Yeah, well, yeah. It's, it's never... I don't know, I've never really taken much thought to be honest like yeah. I, st- I believe in god i believe there's a god but um yeah. you know i don't d- dwell into it yeah. yeah um but then from there yeah i went to endeavor because obviously all my mates that i played with for roosters oh, and you. paddington tigers were there and um oh this is the best thing ever for me <laughs> like relaxed schooling i'm sort of a relaxed bloke so yeah. it's good like we went there and but our coaches were like they were mean like they mm-hmm. made sure you did your work so you could play. It was like, yeah. like one of those. But we had training Tuesday morning, Thursday morning. So it's like you don't really get that at many schools. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, no, no, no. I think, I think grandma there, also, I went to grandma, Orphan Boys. And like I wasn't the first to see anything, but, you know, you get to school and they're like 6 a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gym, you get to school and, and they're like, already ah. in the gym. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but relax. <laughs> That's the thing, bro. That's the thing, though. You um, you go to those schools and you like, I never knew anything and then you – yeah. jump into it and you learn so much and bro, I was loving it and then you know the, we go from there when we'd 
maybe jig a class or something yeah. and um go <laughs> and go nice. all the boys would go before training and go to the to the um to the Westfields close to Roosters training. Then we'd obviously scrunch up some money, get some yeah. Maccas and things and but it was like all together. Yeah. But those endeavor days it was like your sports you're in a sports program. Yep. So like Brad Takarangi went there. Oh, he nice. was but he was in the rugby union. So he wasn't in the rugby league program. No one likes that last yeah. name. Though, That's eh? the best last name in the world. <laughs> <laughs> related? Um, I think my, he's related sure, to cousin. my dad's. Oh, he's my dad's cousin or something. Like, but I don't. I've never met him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mailman's neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> he's my auntie's dog's he's cousin. Just a cousin. <laughs> yeah. So like everyone's the rock's cousin, eh? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I am. Well, you, mean, you mean Uncle DJ? <laughs> <laughs> so what? So you you had your your junior career. And mm. obviously, you went on to like this pretty amazing sort of NRL career. How so? What over how long? Ten years or something like that. Before we get to that, how many games did you lose against Patricia Brothers Blacktown? <laughs> I'm gonna be All honest. I'm gonna be honest with you. We never lost in in a game I played with our team, <laughs> like our team. So our team basically went through. You have like the 14s, 15s, all that yeah, stuff. Till you get to the arrive alive, the yeah. top. But we won like the 14s. The is like a buck called a Buckley Shield. We won the state knockout against a Westfields team who had um, Jared Hayne and plays like that playing. We beat them. Oh, Jared Hayne. Yeah, bro. He was a freak back oh, then. Yeah, he's still he a freak. He was a freak back then. He was forever. He's a freak yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> but we, had, we, were like, we, had, we beat them. And then, obviously, we beat uh, Patrician Brothers when we got older as well and they arrived alive. So we never read, really, like, to us, to lose. And that's probably what made it more special when you're with your mates because because we kept winning we're like what is, it, what is it to all lose yeah, like, yeah. yeah what is it to lose you know so we were just like bro they, but we were winners when we were younger you know i didn't sort of transfer to the rest of my career but when i was younger at least i got to lift a tro- uh, lift a trophy in some age yeah it was fun bro yeah, yeah so i'm um, going back to that you you had a long a long lengthy in our career mm. and we just want to congratulate you 174 oh, games 174 50? yeah Oh, was it 174 games? How many uh, games? Did you it was 170 something. Yeah. Nice. Mm. I reckon. I reckon you spot on. You'd be maybe Let around me, there. Should we Google? <laughs> I'll, well, while you stop, I'll Google it. <laughs> yeah. So what? So what, what was it like to to get that first sort of like? Were you in the system for a while before you kind of? Nah. So they were talking about I was in the rooster system, and it mm-hmm. came to the end of um, the school, so the end of Endeavour, and we'd won. Uh, <laughs> three titles in a row uh, on the top level and I played in the last two. Mm -hmm. Um, And, oh, the first one we beat Patricia Brothers. I didn't play in that one. (laughs) Yeah. No, but they- Just um, mentioned every time you did. I think (laughs) think our our school's lost about like eight grand finals and we won like two, so it's it's fine. (laughs) But um, nah, I just, so I came out of school and I had the Roosters, the Tigers, Bulldogs and Dragons. Yeah. Um, I could have gone to, I had- like nothing like we're talking about peanuts compared to what yeah, they get paid yeah. now. I'm talking like 10k. Yeah. Like you know for rugby league, but I was like 18 year old. Um. So I went and met Ricky Stewart, who was the Tigers coach. No, nah, uh, Roosters coach at the time, and he was like, "Oh, look, you know, you can train with us, but I don't really know too much about you." Yeah. Blah blah, and I was like, "Sweet, at least he's being honest. Like he could have yeah. lied and said, oh, look, you know, you're amazing. Yeah, you're amazing. <laughs> Maybe we'd love to have you, but with him being honest, I was like, okay, well." This probably isn't the place for me. Yeah. And I also know at the Roosters, um, they buy a lot of players. Yeah. As you can see. Yeah. yeah. My uncle's um, owned there soon. And, but they, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me. No, but they don't um they don't really have too many juniors come through. And the players mm-hmm. that they call juniors have the ones from other Yeah, so they buy them when they're sixteen. Yeah. And they're like, Oh, he's a junior. But <laughs> I'm talking about true juniors, yeah. like well, juniors that have grew up in mm-hmm. Sydney, played in the Rooster system all the way through. Like yeah, I think you got a Nat Butcher now who... He's, he's been with them for ages. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know if he's was he was in the South system, but I don't know. But they, Are they but kind of interchangeable? Do they kind of just kind of swap between... Well, South back South. in the day, it used to be Souths and Roosters have like the teams play against each other, the junior clubs. Yeah. Because Roosters never had that many. Oh, okay. Yeah. But no, so it was, it was Roosters, but like I said, Ricky was straight up with me and I was mm-hmm. like, well, I don't really want to stay here. And for yeah. that reason as well, the juniors... I had uh, the Bulldogs. I met Steve Folks, and obviously that time they had Sonny Bill and all those boys. And I was like, "Man, this is gonna be mean." <laughs> um, and he goes, "Oh, you can probably train once a week with us, and the rest should be training with Jersey Flag, which was under twenties back then." Yeah. And I was like, oh, "Okay, that's all right. You know, once a week." How um, old were you at the time? So I was eighteen, okay. last year of school. Um, 
and then I met Nathan Brown. This is a, this is a funny one. I met him at um, so obviously they they're based in Wollongong. So for me to drive down, it would have been long. But they were mm. obviously having some beers at the Clovelly Hotel, yeah, um, which is closer to me. And he's like, "Oh, come down, we'll have a chat." And he had a beer in hand and like sort of uh, a very unusual yeah. way to meet a coach. Eh? Mm. But he was young, man. Like he wouldn't do that now. Yeah. yeah. But he was young. Like I think he just retired because <laughs> of injury, so he was yeah. still maybe late twenties. Oh, Being wow. a head coach, That's I crazy. think I don't. Go, but I think he was around around there. that year. Yeah. yeah. Because he, he retired pretty young, I'm sure, mm-hmm. of injury. But then um got frustrated in coaching and he was like, oh, I maybe want you to come. But I'm like, fuck, this guy's got a beer in his hand. <laughs> yeah. So like, he asked me to come. Are you my coach or yeah, are you like, my friend? <laughs> you know, like, like I, I was in, don't, like I was 18. I was like, yeah. fuck, this is pretty mean. <laughs> uh, all these guys. So if I yeah. sign here, do we yeah. get three beers? <laughs> yeah. Three beers. Oh, the classic, oh, yeah. yeah, have a beer. And then tomorrow you're running shuttles. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but the, the, the thing that... The only person I didn't meet was Tim Sheens from the Tigers. Oh, yeah. Didn't meet him. And the only way I got um, an offer from them was because he'd watched our last two finals because we played Keeper Park. Yeah. Who had obviously Ben Teo, Bodine Thompson, all these players, and they were um, linked with the Tigers. Yeah. 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 Because Ben Merrill Priscilla came. Ben Merrill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they were all from there and they got linked with. Um, keeper in the Tiger so he would come out to watch the young Tiger boys that were finishing school to go into the Tiger system yep. and seen us well we beat them in the two years in a row so I was like okay sweet <laughs> but then they just well I finished school in 2006 they won the title okay. in 2005 so they had Benji they had Yeesh. like Paul Fatawira Chris Lawrence I think might have just debuted yep. was Brett um, Hodgson in that scene? Brett Hodgson was there yep. yep Um. oh bro stack stack full of names you know and I was like was Scotty Prince here? He yeah, left oh. the year I went. Oh, okay. Because yeah. he went to the Gold Coast when they yeah, started. Yeah. yeah. But I was like, oh, well, one's sort of had me in the drink. One I can only train for <laughs> a day. <laughs> yeah. Um, Ricky Stewart's been straight up blunt to me. So really no for brainer. me, it was a no-brainer, mm-hmm. bro. Yeah. And and the good thing about them was in the preseason, we trained identical. So say the first grade trained at 10, we trained at eight, but we did the session that they were going to do. Oh, so right. it's basically like, so there was a, extra 15 to 20 people and in that was like Tim Maltz and Bo Ryan um, mm. Shannon Gallant like a couple of a couple of boys that have gone on and played first grade yeah, yeah. but we were all trained together before them so I was like yeah this is the one and yeah. we got to train with the first grade a bit too yeah. so that was like for me looking back now I mean I'm, I made it's either I made the right choice and now I'm talking to myself like a sort of my <laughs> mouth was made up hey, <laughs> the choice was already made for me <laughs> but like um no, nah, I'm just glad that I think everything works out yeah. or happens for a reason. Do you yeah, ever think back and 100%. be like, oh, what if, what if I never, what if you hadn't have made that choice? Yeah, and that's the thing, bro. With rugby league, like there was way better kids than me playing. Like, really? So, yeah, so many more, <laughs> bro, so many more better kids than me just play like, playing around. Hard, you know? <laughs> bro, that's the thing, though. But the, the whole thing about league is it's sort of every sport. Yeah. It's one person who, like a recruitment manager or a coach, who can decide your future. Whether you're better than this other bloke, it's there. They might not think you're better than him. You know what I mean? So yeah, there was yeah. other kids better than me, but they might have been a different team stuck behind different players. Yeah. And I, that's why I always think about what happens if I went to the Dragons and Gazni or Cooper were there. Yeah. I would have never got to play. You know? Sheesh. Things like that. Like things. Like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Well, like it's kind of like up. when you see um, Chance, Chance Nickel Clockstead at the right. Warriors. Yeah. You know? Like just, he wasn't going to make that back three. Yeah. So he went somewhere else and now he's, and now he's like, like, cracked it. Yeah. yeah. Like growing up, how many like guns, like, they used to play like out in like Penrith district. Yeah, they're just like you just see now, like they just don't play anymore. And like, like there, like there was some like growing up. I think Nat Butcher was our age. Yeah, and I swear there was so many boys in our year that we just like put it on him like in, in the SG ball <laughs> games and that. Yeah. and then like you see Nat Butcher now just playing like like yeah. getting like fifty minutes a game for the Roosters yeah. and some of the boys out there having a beer and <laughs> after, that's the thing, after man, watching the Roosters. Yeah. That's the thing, man. It's it's so crazy how that's why when I say there's so many more kids better than me because there was. You know, like, so for instance, El, we, we won the comp two years in a row that Arrive Alive. In that last year, we played Kibra, who had, like like I said, Bernie Thompson, those players. No one from our team made the Aussie schoolboys. Oh. So, like, that's either that we're a good team together, yeah, which we sort of were, yeah. but you'd think that we'd get recognition and yeah. be Aussie schoolboys. But that's when I say, like, there was that many kids better than me yeah. at that age. It's just yeah. sort of the path mm-hmm. that I got was, you could say, a bit of luck. Um, yeah. but yeah, 
sort, sort of, of like that chosen. the cards fell exactly oh, where you needed them one. to and you took that path exactly and that's the same with my first grade yeah. career a lot of it sort of like we did build into it a lot of it i could have gone a different way it's mm-hmm. just the way it's happened and did, did you yeah. have a like a like a yeah, backup a like, like if league wasn't gonna if league wasn't it for you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, to be honest i still don't yeah, it's like, do you have a backup oh, like, rugby um, union oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what i actually probably would have i probably would have tried rugby <laughs> all of these oh, it couldn't have been too hard to crack, could it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, I love my wallabies. Um, nah, like, to be honest, I probably should have studied more in school, but I love just hanging out with the boys and yeah. playing league and then on the weekends just doing it. And I was, I'm still not the one to sit in and listen and, like, learn from yeah. talking. Yeah. Like, even, like, if someone's to read me a text, I have their phone out and read a text to me. I I can't. Yeah, yeah. I'll go give it to me. I need to read and take it in. Yeah, yeah. I'm not the smartest cookie in the shed, but uh, but yeah, you can run a ball hard. <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> sort of lucky with that too, I guess. Yeah. Is that yeah, like man, what? I like the, what I say, it's smartest cookie in the shed. Isn't it tall in the tall shed? In the shed. <laughs> See what I mean? Hey, it's smartest, some smartest people have cookies in the shed. shed you know, yeah. hey, if you want a cookie in the shed. You, you know, can have a cookie you in the shed. Cookie in the and shed. that's when I said I'm not the smartest cookie in the we shed. Need a cookie. We need a cookie <laughs> jar. We're trademarking that. We We're trademarking that for the show. Uh, <laughs> cookie in the shed. Have you heard that? That's from OTR. Yeah, fair enough. No, but like, so what? Do you, was there any pressure on you because like there was no backup? Like that leak was it? Yeah. Was it like um, oh like if if I don't succeed if I don't crack this side like what what am I gonna do? I know, to be honest, I never thought about it because I was sort of lucky with that contract that I had two years straight out of school. So when I signed, it was two years with the uh, Tigers. So I was yeah. like, okay, two years. Like, um, so you kind of didn't have any time to worry because it kind of just yeah. I just happen. wasn't like I was like, okay, get rid. I didn't get to go on schoolies or any of that stuff. But that was cool. Like none of my our mates did anyway because we were all in systems. Like all yeah. our boys were in systems. But I knew that like that like our boys are like went on and did jobs like i worked as a lawnmower removalist and i uh, used to get mattresses like do and cut them up and sell the bits like the oh, fabric yeah. and the steel and all the wood and everything so like i only I only worked like four weeks out of my whole life so if i didn't do that i don't think like i had drive and stuff but i just think i would have been just doing a normal job somewhere yeah. like a nine to five or like yeah. laboring or something like that yeah, yeah. gosh i was lucky man so going back to the career what do you reckon is like the the highest and lowest moments of your career um so highest as, as in in our role career like even throughout like like your whole like just probably from just brothers like eight yeah. times in a row. <laughs> that, that probably is a <laughs> <laughs> no nah, but, but but the highest for me would probably be like there's a lot of highs in, in our role career but i can't like winning a i know some people be like oh, school you know but but yeah. for me it was like the happiest there was not a you think about when you were a kid. Yeah, it's oh, a, my yeah, kids yeah. now. Like, why are you crying? You got nothing to worry about. I want <laughs> no. your butt. I want to feed you. Like when we were kids, uh, like 18, 17, 18, yeah. and you're with your mates, you know, having beers. Yeah. You're going out weekends. You're going to school together. You're like you're doing everything together, and yeah. you win footy games, and you're the best team in the nation. And you're like, why? Like, what's yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, but for me, uh, in the in our, that was like probably like something to always look back on you can always share with your mates you know but when i played nrl seen the um a game we played the dragons i think it was after the roosters game we got beat you know the one simon do i put the hit on hargraves and oh, it was the 120 yeah 120 yeah. minute game it was probably one so that, when i'm chunking it down yeah intercept yeah <laughs> but that was probably one of my <laughs> but that was probably one of my my best games yeah. in my career um and I, I had like found out after the game I had like six ulcers in my throat, and I was because oh. I was sick that game, and I had ended up there was about four of us in doubt for the next week. Yeah. But like to be in that game, that was like one of the special games because it was mm. like 120 minutes semi final, yeah. the atmosphere, the crowd, and like to the yucks. Like I think something that Freddie and Joey put up the other day, it was yeah. in their top five games of all time. Really, that was yeah. a cracker game. Yeah, yeah. Though, but like that was like a highlight, even when though we that? lost 2010. 2010. Was Dragons one? Tigers had a Dragons really, one, yeah. yeah. You guys had a really good team in 2010. 2010 and 11, that like we had Timmy good Martin. team. Man. Yeah. Bo Ryan. Yeah, Bo And Ryan, you guys just lost Tuiaki. those two semifinals. Yeah, I know. But is that when you had Tanyola? Was it? Tuiaki. Yeah. But he got injured that 
He was a he beast. Was injured two thousand nine, man. Yeah, but he was he could have been anything to Yucky. But like that after losing the Roosters game, uh, the Roosters game, we flipped to the other side of the draw and end up having to play the Dragons. But I remember running out that season and having. I think it was seventy three thousand at um, ANZ. It was fantastic. Oh. That was a mean game too. They ended up winning eight six. Controversial. Like Takiri got need in the back, and like these days they would have stopped it and yeah. called a penalty. But back then they were like play on. Mm-hmm. We would have kicked the goal at eight all. But not here or there. <laughs> I'm not salty. I'm right not mad at it again nine years ago. Nah. But then before like, you go sleep yeah. at night. <laughs> 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 but that's just the way it is, man. And then. We should have won a comp that year, in my opinion. Then the next year, oh, and you got you got Chris and Enid that year. <laughs> yeah, bro. But that's the thing. So they yeah. changed the rules after that year. Yeah. So it used to be the first verse eighth, second verse seventh, third. Oh year, yeah, so and then so. they did the, But then the that first, first week first we finished four. fourth, I think, and we flogged, we flogged um whoever we played yeah. by like twenty points. I think I don't know. I think we played dragons, beat the yeah. dragons, and then. Obviously, they got a second chance, but the Warriors chance. got beat by... They got the, beat by Broncos. We yeah, Broncos 40 nil. 50, yeah, 40, yeah, 50 nil, and they got a second chance. <laughs> they got a second. And we won, and we finished higher. And then they got a chance, and it just, like, that, like it makes yeah. sense now yeah, how yeah. they do it. And back then, but, like, to say, like, we had that game as well, and then everyone knows what happened. Yeah. I seen a replay this morning. I was like, I told, you, I told my son, I go, bro, turn that off, man. <laughs> Stop. But, like, but it, it sucks. What, what, what happened? Like, so it was like a. Oh, I, was, I remember it. I was a ha- Wait, is that when Warriors made a grand final? Yeah, yeah. It was one of the happiest days of my young life. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, oh, no, actually, no. The grand final day? No, yeah. the, the week after when we beat Storm was, it was yeah. a better day. But um, it, I think Sean Johnson crossed it, uh, kicked it to Chris and Inu, and he, like, Fumbled it in the air and it dropped to the ground and no one Picked touched him on the ground. But and he, he was kind of just... touched if you slow it down. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, and, then, and then he put it on the ground. Nah, and, bro, and I'm not too salty. I'm not salty about that. <laughs> 2011. Two year, but seriously, we should have. Yeah. Our team we had those yeah. years, like Gary Feller, Simon Dwyer, Chris Huntington, Liam Fulton. That's bro. a banger team. Matt Utah, yeah. Lo- Matt Utah, Utah. Lottie Takiri. Oh, what a Wade team. McKinnon played for us a year. Mr. Prime Benji. Like, we had Prime Benji, Robbie Farrell. Like, our team was like, Molson, was Molson, for, back? Molson. Oh, we had Wade yeah. McKinnon for a bit when he was out. We had bro Keith Galloway, Bryce Gibbs. Was Woodsy there? Bro, that's a Woodsy, team. Woodsy. Oh. Ben Merrick Masilla debuted that Roosters game. Like, oh, bro, we, our gosh. team was so good. Yeah. And for us not to win a comp one of those years, like I was, mm. that's sort of the the highlight of my uh, footy is being around those boys and playing because it yeah. sort of felt like school for me. Yeah. Because we, because back Close. then none of us were had uh, partners or kids. Oh, so yeah. we were like out, like we'd play a game on a Monday, we'd go out Tuesday all together. We go, <laughs> yes. we play games Saturday, we go Sunday, we play Friday, we go Saturday, Sunday. You know, but it was, it was just the way it was back then. Just and, praying for Friday uh, games. And this was before Instagram, so we were like, you know, everything safe, was allowed. Man. Safe. Yeah. You go out, drink, party, uh, yeah. have fun, and like just let your hair down and not have to worry about yeah. like someone taking a photo or yeah. something like that. So it was, man, those those times were probably the best, but the low. Was um, not winning a title. Oh yeah, but like moving to the Warriors. The, nah, oh. <laughs> it got the Warriors is actually good for me. The Sharks was the one that got me. So like I got warned against. So Tim Sheen's got sacked after 2012, mm-hmm. and he was like a real He's mentor alleged. to me. Yeah. He's a bro. He was the man. Like, yeah. Probably the best coach I've ever had. Oh, yeah. Um, but we went to. I, I ended up falling out with the coach. Um, at, at the, the Tigers, Tigers then Mick Potter and he was he's a good bloke it just uh, coaching wise and me didn't playing work didn't work out um, and I ended up going and I still love the Tigers man like I wish now looking back that I never left yeah. Yeah. to go to the Sharks but that is, that's, what it is. that's what it is yeah so I can't and it took me ages to get over it like so when I went to the Sharks I got warned against going there because the year I went was the year that so two so years had before all controversy and stuff? yeah but two years before it got bought out or a year before it got oh. bought out and they go people my manager was like don't go there don't go there like i'm like nah like they're not going to get fined or any or lose games because it's already been a year and a half and they haven't mm. done anything yeah funnily enough the year i get there <laughs> is the year that <laughs> the coach gets sacked before the first round yeah the the sponsorship was players gone the sponsorship, yeah the players are gone yeah. like halfway through the year so we ended up playing like half the year with uh, our Premier League team. So our second Jeez. team. Yeah. Is that New South Wales Cup team? Yeah, yeah. New South Wales Cup team. And my form, like, I was overweight then. I was, like, 
I was reading into, I, my mind wasn't on footy. I was mm-hmm. like on big money mm-hmm. um, from those 2000, after 2011, I signed for big money. Mm-hmm. And um, I was just happy in life. Like just had, you know, my boy was three, just baby, another baby. Mm-hmm. Uh, my daughter Marley was born. Um, so I was just like living life, like happy as, still yeah. drinking, still. And I was closer to my mates because they're out at Cronulla. Yeah. So like we were like all, you know, meeting up. Um, but like the footy sort of dwelled and then I started copying it from all the fans mm. and like you bat and then this is when you have social media yeah, and you yeah, have yeah. Twitter, Instagram and all that and it was all good like um, copying it on Twitter and I just went off Twitter um, but like I, it's hard because like at the start of my career it was all rosy and that and in Australia it's different here than here because over here the paper is like not that good <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there's not much, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's, no. there's two Stuff. pages on sport, yeah, you know, yeah. but over there, there's like 10 pages on sport and eight of it would be rugby league. Rugby league, especially in Sydney. Yeah. yeah. So we were winning games my first couple of years in the league and I was loving the paper. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, so like, great. I am great. Great. my name right yeah. there. Team of the week. Men yeah. enough, <laughs> like, enough to admit that, like I read into the thing and the thing that I didn't know as a young kid is if you take the good, you got to be able to take the bad and yeah. I didn't take the bad that well. Mm-hmm. So when it came, I sort of like, just let it get to me up here. Yeah. So when I was with the Sharks and all that stuff happened and then I was like, oh, fuck. So like I got dropped mm-hmm. and yeah, we came last that year with the Sharks. And then the next year when we came back. Um, was Bo Ryan at the Sharks then when you got there? Yeah, but he was more going into his footy career because he had his, uh, his yeah, acting career because he had his neck. Oh. Yeah, but the next year they signed Jared Bill and a couple of other players and I sort of lost my spot and the coach was filthy because of the money I was on Yeah, and I hadn't performed. Yeah. So, yeah, that was probably my lowest there. Um, yeah, that, that year, 2015, was probably my lowest. And then you moved to the Warriors. How's the Warriors move for you after that? Oh, it was me. So, I was, like, with the Sharks, I ended up getting my spot back. But then I did um, my back. Slipped a couple of discs in my back. And my back's never been the same, especially now in Auckland. It's so cold. <laughs> I, I wake up, I'm like, I swear I'm like 60 some days. <laughs> Oh, right, sometimes here. you just wake up in oh, the back oh, oh, my back. I don't know how you like. Oh. You must feel ten times oh, worse. Than yeah. <laughs> the only good thing was I couldn't really squat much after that, so it was good for me. Yeah. I didn't All these other kids don't know how to handle the cold day. Eh? <laughs> 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 nah, but um, it's like it's like fifteen degrees. It's not that bad. It's fucking my boots. Freezing. Yeah, you never get used. to it. I don't think I'll ever get used to it. No. Nah. Yeah. I, and I, I like I, I stayed here for like seven years before I moved to Australia, and then I got there. And I was like, oh, so the first year back, the first year here, I was like, this, this isn't too bad. Like you see the weather and that, and you're like, oh man. This, oh, but then you hear about it. But here, the first year it was like sunny. It wasn't too bad. Yeah. Yeah, was, so we, we tricked you. But now they got me. They got me now, bro. They got me. You wake up with the ice on the, on, on the car with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the not ice. bad by house. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the, the, oh, I think the question, the Warriors are good, man. So obviously I'd let my life spiral out of control, like drinking and drinking, going out that, partying. Drinking, and, that's all good, eh? Yeah, yeah, that's all good. Oh, I think it, there's a difference between have a couple of beers and then going yeah, yeah. on benders for a couple of days. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, as an athlete, yeah. It's yeah. A bit of a yeah, yeah it's true. You're right. You're right. But like, as, had, a, <laughs> as a podcast host, <laughs> 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 right, but as with two kids too, I was like, oh, yeah. You know, yeah. so the wife was doing the shout out, doing months. all the work. Shout out, Muzzy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're coming here as a family club, man. So, but it was good because I was um, in my last year at. The Sharks, like I said, was the lowest point. I was like, stuff rugby league, man. Like, yeah. I've got everything I want out of it. Like, I've got my big pay packet. Yep, sweet. I can, I've can. i got enough money now. If I retire, I'm happy with what I've done with the game. I played mm-hmm. over 100 games. Some people don't get to play one. Yeah. So, like, in my head, I was, so it was good because my – with me getting dropped and going to the Sharks, it was a bad thing in the sense that my footy career went down. But it was good that I grew up – I matured as a man and, mm-hmm. like, mentally – it made me stronger and I didn't have to go yeah. see someone for it. It sort of came to me myself nice, to yeah. get mentally yeah. stronger. So, um, like I was, but I was like, oh, like I'm done in rugby league. Like mm-hmm. it is what it is. I'm going to go and try my hand at Union. Auckland Blues. Benji. But they, um, I was like, oh, just put my, put a feeler out. And I got, um, not too many were keen and the Western Force were like, oh, yep, we'll give you a crack just, but they're, at the time was when the World Cup was on. So yeah. it was here, I think. The World Cup. No. Oh, 2011 it was here. 2011, 2015 was in England. England. England, yes. Yeah. So that World Cup was on. So they didn't know who was returning. They hadn't had all this stuff. So I just had to send through records and stuff. And 
while I was waiting for them to get back to me, obviously the NRL season was going on, or the NRL preseason was about to start, and I had an offer from the Broncos. So Wayne Bennett was there, and mm -hmm. it wasn't much money, but it was cheap to live in Brisbane. Mm -hmm. But um, I was like, Broncos, Wayne, Wayne Bennett. Bennett. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, Wayne Bennett. Wayne yeah, he comes really calling. Yeah. That guy won the Kiwis title. <laughs> yeah, bro, I was just like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, why, why would I not go? Um, mm -hmm. And then, but the thing that got me over the line over here was um, – Cappy, Andrew McFadden. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, out of the blue one night, just called me. He goes, hey, mate, Andrew McFadden. I'm like, oh, hey, man, how, like, how you going? <laughs> he's like, yeah, good, good. Um, and he's like, um, oh, look, I've got a spot over here for you if you're, if you're keen. No promises. Like, you know, you're not going to go straight into a starting lineup. Yeah. Nothing. You've got to work your ass off. And, and like, sort of like I said, when I go back to Ricky Stewart being straight up with me, mm -hmm. that's the best thing about Cappy and Andrew, oh, Andrew yeah. McFadden. Like, he's straight down the line. So like, if you're doing something crap, he'll go, bro, that was useless. Like, this is what you <laughs> yeah. need to do. Like, yeah. not I sort of like that, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah. he'll be like, nah, that's not good enough. Like, that's not what we want. But he told me straight up on the phone, he goes, I want you to come over and be a part of this team. And, you know, we haven't won a title, haven't been the semis in years. Like, um, and I was like, bro, I'm there. You know, yeah. like, with, I hadn't spoke to Wayne Bennett or anything. They just had an offer and it was sort of like the same with the other years. I just felt like, someone had come rang me and been honest and I was like, oh, yeah. Well, what year was this, 2017? 2000, the end of 2015. So uh, I came okay. over 2016. Yep. Oh, I mean, the worst thing when I came over was obviously Wallabies fan. <laughs> I arrived the night of the, the World Cup final. The World Cup. <laughs> oh. So they've moved me. I've stayed up late, watched the game. And I'm like, yeah, we're going all right. We're going all right. <laughs> end up getting beat. My, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> And then we end up going to breakfast that next morning, and I always knew the All Blacks were a big thing over here, but I you don't realize knew, how you know, don't yeah yeah bro yeah. And then <laughs> like when I was going up, I was like, yeah, the All Blacks, but you come back and it, the All Blacks are gods. So they, <laughs> they, gods. It's ridiculous, eh? Yeah. And I went up to the local cafe. I, they moved us to a house for a month in Howick. Yeah. So we went to Howick and stayed there for a month. Um, the club put us up, and we went up the road for breakfast. And I Just walked in Howick, into, like yeah, the, in Howick, and I walked into the cafe, and there's no video or anything. There's still dudes like out there drinking, like obviously from the night before. Yeah. And we walk in to sit down and have breakfast, and they've got the commentary of the game on the loudspeaker <laughs> in the <laughs> cafe. I'm like, what's this, <laughs> bro? You can't be. It's not that full on, is it? And then I realised, like, okay, Dad this is. Job, oh, on. You still want to hear it? Still, still wanna... I'm like, oh man, like, Just... I would have been happy to Wallabies win, and then I would have been over it. Like, I could have texted a no, couple no. of people. And Being then... honest though, would, would you do that if you guys had won the the premiership? You know, what? <laughs> Just like relive that. We watch oh it, yeah, watch yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but like I didn't know, like so on the bus to work. Yeah, <laughs> but I can tell you, like, cafe, <laughs> no, I can tell you, in, in, if you're in Australia, the Wallabies win. It'll be on the paper. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah right. and it might, uh, it probably make the front page. Like that'd probably be the only time that the <laughs> yeah, makes no. the front page of a league. That's the one thing that thing like we care about the All Blacks so much, but you guys don't care if you guys if we beat you. <laughs> like really? Yeah, like, oh, yeah. it's expected. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's the thing. Like, if they lose a game, the All Blacks, it's like the end of the world. This bloke needs to go. This bloke needs to go. When they lost to Ireland, they're just like, okay. Yeah. Uh, like, on the semi final, mm. everyone's just like, oh, you know, we should have put in Sunnyville. Like, <laughs> oh, George man. Bridge, Silver. That's what I sit there and I'm like, bro, it's crazy. It's like just a way yeah. of life, eh? And then, like, when the Warriors lose, it's like, they, oh, it's okay. Well, they're expected to lose, <laughs> yeah. you know? That's what people think. Can you imagine them being in America though, and playing just like college? college football and like you make one mistake and you yeah. get like a hundred thousand people the, like, oh, no, and this is like a 19 year old kid 19 yeah. year old yeah. yeah there's so much pressure on them man <laughs> yeah no, but well, like Warriors were good men when I came over like that was the first day here so I was like wow okay yeah, 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 in the it. cafe listening to the <laughs> thing um, but going in there I had to it was good because when I went to seeing Cappy I was obviously overweight and had a lot of skin folds yeah because um, I was never I never had abs I never much of a work like didn't like to do weights so i'd yeah. train and run fitness and do all that good but doing weights and stuff wasn't my wasn't my thing really um and i was like about 103 but should have really only played at like 98 yeah but um yeah the oh well the reason i was that heavy was because um muds um the first time i came back here with her to meet her family I was on the drink for like a week and a half, <laughs> a week and a half straight, and just eating, eating, like eating all and the honey. food, like honey, everything, eating it. I went back from so when I was at the Tigers' yard, I couldn't put on weight, 
And then I went yeah. from like 95 <laughs> trying to put on weight to 101. Yeah. Over a preseason, <laughs> two weeks, and I'll go back and I had my Whoa. best year that year. So I was like, ah, oh, yeah, I've got Surely. to eat. <laughs> it's and the best season. Yeah. Success, boy. And that's what's funny. You see boys now, and I'm like, well, he's going to catch up with you. <laughs> but then it caught up me the thing, and once again, I said, Cappy was like, you're too fat. You're like yeah. got to shred it. So I had like three weeks, I think, or four weeks till I came to preseason, and he could tell that I'd work my ass off yeah. to try and make the tea or like being the best shape for first day preseason because I dropped about four kilos. Yeah. Dropped a lot of skin folds. What did you do? Did you just go running? Oh, just like working out like almost every day. Like I was just, um, yeah, just eating right. And it was hard for me because I love like KFC. <laughs> yeah. I love, Mac, uh, I love yeah. all that stuff, you know? Yeah. So for me, like eating a salad was like, oh, bro. I just don't <laughs> like those. Yeah. yeah. I was just like, oh. Get man. out the way. You just- <laughs> yeah. It just wasn't for me, but like I, I, did worked it. I did it and I got there and then I showed him that I was willing so then obviously the, the nines came along we had a good nines we made the final and well, that was buzzy as well but then obviously the season started and it was just good to be a part of the club like it's completely different to an Aussie club where like I said it helped my mentality as well coming over because if if you don't want to read articles like you can find an article about the Warriors or you can read stuff about yourself if you want to mm-hmm. But like me having both sides of that already in Aussie, I knew that I didn't need it, and I don't like I don't want to read the good or the bad. Like yeah, it's yeah. just what people think. Like who cares? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So nice. like coming over here, it's good. Like there's a family club. Not too much is said about the Warriors unless you go searching for it on the internet where yeah, you can yeah, find yeah. heaps. You know, like this <laughs> is our year. And, oh, okay, maybe next year like that same stuff. But oh, that's um, funny. Oh, every year, man. It's and then by around ten, they're like, oh. Next year, yeah. <laughs> even though we can still make the eight by round yeah. three <laughs> yeah but, but no it was, it was good me coming over here and I liked it because it, it suited me too because I'm sort of a laid back person as we just said mm-hmm. like I like eating I like yeah. having a beer I like um, just relaxing and in Sydney where I grew up there's it's obviously too developed now so whenever I go back I'm like get me out of here there's <laughs> just too many people bro yeah. too many people so what so you moved over here and mm. how come you've stayed here now so what I had the Two years, and then I played. So when Mooks came, he sort of yeah. didn't really want me in the team or I wasn't in his plans. So I had that year with Cappy, and Cappy, I went all right that year. Um, we just missed out on the eight again. Um, but then Mooks came, and Fuss was playing for the Kiwis. Yeah. And then they Mooks tried to turn him into a centre. Center. And I think we lost the first three games. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, but something happened. Oh, so how I got back in the team was so Foz signed that year, Kieran Foran. Yeah. And I had played. Well, we had a hectic team, man. Yeah. You had oh. a hectic team, bro. A lot of team. We had, we had the Kiwis. I remember when Foran got there, we were always just like, fuck. Like, the Warriors going to be hectic. <laughs> but he. And then he's running. <laughs> he just kept getting. Foz just kept yeah. getting injured. Yeah, right. But he was, bro, when he played, that's, that's he was played, the that's man. Yeah, career. he was yeah. so good with him. He's still so good. Like when you watch him play now, hey, he's a freak. But we, I remember I played a New South Wales Cup game on the Saturday and um, I wanted to stay behind and um, catch up with my friends. And I think Albert Vetti was supposed to be 19th man or 18th man. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'll take it. Like, you go home to your family. I'll take it. I just want to stay around and see some mates in that. Yeah. So I stayed extra night. And um, we went to the game and in warm-up, it was me and there was a, another four. I don't know who it was. I can't remember. But Foz went down with the hammy. So I'd played 80 minutes the day before in New South Wales Cup and then oh, I played... I actually remember that. Yeah. They were saying that on the commentary. And he f- played back-to-back games. Yeah, <laughs> and Foz went down and I played that game. Mm. And that, But funnily enough, like, went okay and got back in the team. And I was in... They moved Fuss back to the wing. Mm. I was in the centres. And um, oh, it was hard as well, actually, because Mooks was, Mooks was coaching. He goes, oh, what I want you to do is defend in the centres because I was when I got older, I got better at defence. Yeah. And he goes, but... Um, I want um, Fuss to attack in the centers. So it's sort of like saying, bro, you're useless at attack. <laughs> bro, defend and then put yeah. the ball down. I know, so. <laughs> but I was like, and just catch and put it down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was just like, oh, bro. All right, all right, sweet. That's all good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just took it because, like, I'd. You're on the field. Uh, yeah, I was on the field. Um, you know, I was just happy to be back. And like I said, by then, 
I'd already gone through that shark stuff. So I was, if I didn't make team, I was sweet. I was in a good space. Yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. over here playing footy, doing what I love with my family. It was all yeah. good. That's, that's, a, that, that's mm. so good. Yeah. That's yeah. Thing. And then when I got there and then he told me that, I was sort of like, oh, okay, so I'm not that good at attack, but <laughs> see, hey, I'll get back in the team. We're all good. But it was just too hard, like me and Fush changing here and there, yeah, here and yeah. there, here and there. So ended up being that. And I ended up playing that whole year. Yeah. And we didn't do too good that year. I think we had a lot of injuries and. Um, that just the wasn't that, that Roger win that or did he go down no nah, he went year? down my first year mm-hmm. yeah but that second year Roger came back but it always t- it takes you like a year after yeah. ACL you know yeah you see a lot of boys but now nah, he um, we didn't do good that year and then the next year obviously we signed Pet and all those boys and I had my back flared up again mm-hmm. um, and I was out and for just- basically for that year I was out for basically the whole year mm-hmm. so it was good but like that's my you know with the Warriors that's why I've stayed like the, yeah. the first two years were good and then I signed another two because we I was going good that second year. Yeah. So that's why I ended up staying just because I thought, oh, I've got another two years. Mm-hmm. I can, might as well. Yeah, might as well. And then by then I'll be, what was I on the title? 31, turning yeah. 32. So I was like, this is good age, like, you know, to move on. Or <laughs> if I, I, like I wanted to go, I had, I wanted to go to England yeah. mainly to travel, but to yeah, yeah. get a contract and play footy while I was over yeah. there. So I get paid to play. But you see over there, a lot of the boys travel. The yeah. Spain's a half hour away. Yeah. But, um, that was going to be the, the plan mm-hmm. after four years, go to England. But yeah, like it ended up working out. And then my last year, obviously, they tried to turn me into a back row, played a couple of games. Yeah. Here you like back row? I liked it because I was slower and <laughs> yeah, I just got more ball. And yeah. Back then, like the game was changed. So, like yeah. the game now, you know how they fastened it all up? Yeah. yeah. Like you look at Brett Morrow, uh, Josh Morris, and Jennings, all these old players that like are my age. Yeah. Getting back to getting back to the best because you can get like early, early ball, ball and you yeah. can actually be a footy player. Yeah. yeah. Whereas back like those last couple of years before it, you had centers are just get just yeah. <laughs> yeah oh yeah you get yeah. Yeah. yeah to run your line or like yeah exactly, exactly. Yeah. yeah just basically a defender you, you're just a cut up <laughs> oh, uh, just a fuss or a freak on a wing <laughs> but um nah that's why I stayed bro I had a plan in the end um and yeah that was that was the reason I stayed with the Warriors I was trying to ask you one thing if you don't mind yep. that last year in the Warriors how how strong is Marcus Sivo's right hand. Oh, bro. <laughs> bro, you know the funny thing? I was, bro, that guy is scary, bro. Bro. <laughs> bro, you know the funny thing? It actually happened to me the year before and it happened worse. So he was playing for Penrith. Oh, he was at Penrith. Penrith. Cup, and we played at, um, what's the one where North Harbour play at? The field? QBE? North Harbour Stadium. Oh. Yeah, 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 North Harbour Stadium. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so he played then. It was raining. And Siva was on that wing. I was on this centre. He came running across in the New South Cup game. And like, as a centre, you don't want him to run outside you. So I was like, stepped up to yeah. try and stop him and he just went boosh and fended me and I went <laughs> and I hit the ground <laughs> hit the ground and because it was wet I just slid <laughs> oh, bro. and I was like oh but I wasn't on TV wasn't on anything so that's why I was like oh I already knew before that happened but bro that last one it was funny like I've had kids ask me oh yeah. it's funny like you know like back when I was younger that would have like ruined me Yeah, but yeah, now yeah. I'm like I don't care. Like yeah, he's, yeah. he just did it to Tedesco. The other week. Yeah, to the, one of the best players in the world. Best yeah, footy player yeah. in the world. Like. But I'm like, the kids ask me, and I'm like, ah, oh, you know, yeah. it's hard to tackle. He, yeah. he got he got me off guard, and it's, but it's sometimes like, like you just got so you just got to take. There's just freaks out there. Oh, but yeah, like to think, when I when I look back and think about it, I go, I've had that that body position I had. I've done it to so many other people, but yeah, no yeah, one yeah, else yeah. has no one else has thought to stop and fend me. Like yeah, everyone's just, tried to step or step in because I was like jamming off trying to hold for my defenders to come yeah. and I was just holding off holding off and as I'm backpedaling he just got me at, at the, the right time, time and I was like oh and then I was made it worse as I was like trying to catch yeah. my feet I should have I should have just went down bro it made it worse because then you seen the memes go <laughs> like I was like ah but it's, it's funny like seeing it man I was like oh, I'm not gonna be who, the last but who did he get before Cody A eh? he got Cody and he was yeah. running across and oh. I like just think, oh my god the thing with him he's not that hard to tackle when he Run straight, or you know, it's just he's not, he's not, he's not nah. like putting up any footwork. Or he just got me off guard, and but like, bro, like I said, credit to him because I've done that body position to so many yeah. other people, and everyone tries to step or go around you and fend, whereas he just stopped and went. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking about um, like the hard, who's the hard, hardest person you've ever Yeah, who's the done? hardest player? Bro, oh, so. can we give our guesses? Yeah, go oh, on. Yeah. Okay, like, like, what do you oh, mean, hardest player like, to attack or to, to defend? defend. defend? Oh, yeah. I'm saying Greg Inglis. Yeah. I would say Jenko. I have both posts, but no, he was a centre. So, English with English, the funny thing with English was 
now how we saying the centers never get early ball and do stuff. So I always, whenever I verse Inglis, I'd always Sprint. rush up so he could never get the no. ball and do that fin to me. No, he's, got get, the, he's got the footwork as well. Yeah, so you have to, yeah. Bro, I just, I was probably offside like half the time. But I just did it so I that I didn't get that Sevo thing. Yeah. So I wasn't embarrassed. Yeah. It's yeah. funny, I did that most of my career so I didn't get embarrassed. I was yeah. scared of, I was yeah. scared of getting beat. So I used to rush. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and like, it's funny now thinking like, I should have just done that to see. Really. I never got embarrassed anyway. But nah, and Jenko like ruined me a couple of times. I played footy with him, like played school against him, played with him. Where'd you go, Doms? St. Doms, there? Yeah, St. Uh, Doms, yeah. Penifer. Yeah, yeah. I played um, I played Junior Kangaroos with him. Um, oh, cool. All that stuff, yeah. But he was like, he was a freak, man. And the thing with Jenko was he always used to, I never let him beat me on the outside. He always used to step um, Back on the inside. So I knew everyone would have me, but... It's yes, just, I used to love, I always used to remember when I come up against him, I was like always cautious of how, because I knew how good he was, mm-hmm. especially about his speed. And obviously I'm not that fast yeah. and things. And his footwork was amazing. Yeah. So whenever he was on the other side, I was like, oh, yes, bro. <laughs> yeah. But the hardest person, I still remember this one night I switched because Chris Lawrence was injured. Yeah. yeah. So I, I used to play right. Chris was left. Chris got injured and I had to play left side against the Broncos. And I come up against Hodges. Oh, and I was oh. like, and, and you've seen Hodges step. It's it's not quick. But, and I was like, oh, it's okay. Like, you know, like we just talked about Jenko and all yeah. that fast. And then I played him and I would have missed maybe nine tackles all on Hodges that night. Jeez. And they were beating us like 30 to six at half time. Like we ended up coming back, but like that, like we, they had like Lockyer and all those boys. Yeah. But like oh, Hodges. Tony Car- Hodges oh, was Tony Carroll on the team? Or nah, so, he how, retired. How does, he do does, he just, does he just It's like- just like long and. But just covers a long yeah, distance with yeah. his stiff. But like just even trying to get hold of him and he's just strength and his hip and his hips and things. But I would have missed and I still get like nightmares if I was to if I was to ever play me, I don't think I would be able to. <laughs> I would be like I talk about how I've grown up mentally. He would if I seen him across me again, it would ruin me. But I've seen <laughs> him play like being in New South Wales, right? Like you, he just picks up the ball from dummy half, and looks at you, yeah. and then he's like down, and he's, he's gone. Yeah, he's, like, not gone. He's, he's not like he's quick or anything. He's just, uh, he's just like how? Like, yeah, and that's what I mean. He's the, probably the hardest. I've been asked this before, but he's uh, he's someone that always sticks in my head. That's the hardest to to defend against. For me, he was. Yeah. yeah. Was it ever a moment when you came up against some like rookie eighteen year old and you're just like? <laughs> <laughs> today's my day boy <laughs> nah bro because most of the time the centers I played were always older than me and just like you know yeah. like I remember the first time I played Stevie Medai oh, bro geez. and that guy you know what he used to do like as, as <laughs> it, I, it hasn't been in the back of your mind oh it? man <laughs> I, like he, I've seen him what he could do but like early ball early ball <laughs> <laughs> it still doesn't help bro. but the, a, a lot of it was um, a lot of it with Stevie like he would show respect as you got older. So I played him the first couple of years and he would like smash me and then, you know, on the ground, like not talk, but just like be rough and that. Yeah. And, um, but like, as you play each other, probably like five, six, seven times. And like, Ooh. I was just straight up and down. I wasn't swinging arms or anything. It was just like a, it was footy. a respect. Yeah. yeah, it was footy. Um, but he was, you know, like I said, I never played. The centers on my side were never during most of my career or the good parts of my career that I can remember, mm. um, never played anyone that was really too much younger than me. I always played like I had Matt Cooper against me. Oh, I had that? Steve Maddai. I had He's like an Inglis against me. I yeah. had Will Chambers a lot of the times. Like there was never, yeah, there was never too many that were like younger than me. Yeah. They're either the same age or, or older. Freaking freaks. Yeah, oh my gosh, Matt Cooper. Yeah, <laughs> the nice, the nice eyes. Come on, bro. Being being like like a like a New Zealander, we sort of all grow up with like our our Benji love. Mm. But what was it like playing with playing with him when he was you know? Is was Bo right on the, on Bo knows? Like, checks the ATM. He's like, have you seen that? On Bo knows, he's like checks the ATM. He's like, oh, what? Only four million. That's <laughs> the reason Bo's pretending to be Benji. Oh, bro. He was the one. Bo was. He's Bowie was he's funny, funny, and it's right? hard, it was hard for me. It was it was good for me at the start of my career, and hard to like like listen because you've got Bowie. Like anyone that knows Bo, like he's always talking, like always talking, <laughs> always throwing stuff out. So and he was my winger. He is. Yeah, mm-hmm. but like more. So he was my <laughs> winger, and I was the center. And um, but sometimes when you're with him every day, like it's funny when you see him on TV once mm-hmm. a week. Yeah. When you're with him every day, you're like, fuck, 
just shut up, man. Just shut up. <laughs> just shut up. But bro, I love him, man. We've been in some battles and that. Yeah. I love him. But he's um he was on the wing. I was on the center. So when we we're practicing moves and stuff, and he's always talking and we're like chatting and missing plays because mm. he's just talking. But he was <laughs> he was good. But Benji, man, I I just sort of got him like in his a bit of his prime. Yeah. You say like 2010 11 we were so good because of the stuff here. Like we, we spoke about before how now the game's flowed up and you can do things. Back then we used to go, the Tigers, that's why I said Shinji was good because we could just play whatever we've seen. Yep. We'd just have a hit here, shift, and we'd make 40 metres, shift, we'd make 30 metres. Like it was just so much fun. And with Benji, like I caught that that flick pass around yeah, the back yeah. for oh Paragon. Gosh, yeah. Uh, but he was like the stuff, he'd just do stuff at training like flick pass. And I seen it in the game the other week, like a flick pass. Yeah. To do it in a grand final, two thousand five, like as a what 18, 19 year old, like who has the balls to do that stuff, man? Yeah. But he was, it was good. Like coming back to New Zealand as well, you'd you'd always the West Tigers would always be the second team. Yeah. Oh, yeah. like you'd always get a big crowd in New Zealand, yeah. but then whenever you get, wherever you go, because of Benji, because it's like flashy and Robbie had a bit of uh, flair, like had some flair about him as yeah. well. We um, you know, we always have oh big, big, big crowds. So it was fun, man. Just playing it like <clears throat> I've said it. He's probably helped me along in my career um so much yeah. like as footy wise like he used to just feed me early ball or put me in gaps and yeah. things like you can look at some of my tries and just go like bro i just had to catch a ball and run over because he <laughs> like gave it to me on a platter you know yeah. yeah so it was sort of like it was so good to play with him man and yeah. even the off-field side of things like he me he used to live with timmy Moulton, taniella tuiaki and stuff yeah. and i used to go over there and um, stay there on some weekends because mm-hmm. uh, I was real close with Tim Moulton yeah. and because um, we came in that system together when mm-hmm. we first started and um, Benji used to take us out and like we were like I said we were on peanuts but he'd look after us he'd be he was on heat like playing kiwis and yeah. comps everything yeah only four million and, um, so he'd look after which us which future show do you want today was <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's what bro it was, it was so good like that because we'd go out and we'd spend our money and then you go, oh, I'll get this round and buy like, you go out to a nightclub and there'd be like 20 drinks in front of you. You're like, yeah. oh, yep, sweet. sweet, sweet, bench, sweet, sweet bench. Bench. So how good was it for like, as a friend to see him make that Kiwis team? You know, oh, like, recently? Yeah. Yeah, but it was mean. Um, I suppose like, because well, he, the same time I left to go to the Sharks, he left to come to the Blues. Mm-hmm. And I still think if he stayed with the Blues, it could have worked out. Like he's good yeah, enough he to play. Kind of left. Yeah, he's uh, like, he's good enough to play in a team. I just don't think their team at that time was... It was just the blues. Suitable, yeah, it was the blues. But like um, to see him come back and sort of, I know at the Broncos, he did everything that was asked of him. So we yeah. talk about like mentally, like he would have taken, like you talk about taking ego hits. Some people could have spat their dummy like, yeah. oh, he's gone to the Broncos under Wayne Bennett, who was with him when they won that World Cup. Yeah. And then he can't make the starting halves in front of, who was it? Uh, was Norman there? Oh, no, nah, it was Norman. Milford. It was Milford and maybe... Cody Nikarima or, Nikarima or, Cro- or Ben, oh, Hunt. Ben Hunt. Ben Hunt. Ben like Hunt. Like those two, like he couldn't make, like you look back and you're like, bro, this guy's been one of the best players over the last 15, 20 years and he yeah. can't make that team. But he he did everything that was asked of him there. Mm-hmm. And then the I best mean, thing yeah. that I got to see was him going back to the Tigers. Tigers man. Yeah. That was that was the that was the best man to see him finally go back. And now he's he sort of games changed and it's so good to watch him and he came back to the start recently. He's been balling out. He's coming yeah, up. Well, yeah. he played two games, like won the three, like three got three dollar or six dollar yeah. points from that, yeah. and he got dropped. <laughs> yeah, and then he come back and he got three in the next game. And that's the thing. He could have spent the dummy as well. And the Tigers yeah. season could have been like downhill, like seeing your leading player, yeah, or the oldest player, like, but some of the boys would still look up to him as you as you would anyone yeah. coming through. But he got on the job, bro. To see him come back with the Kiwis, or doesn't take anyone, you know, yeah. like he, you've seen how emotional he was. Yeah. It had been so long between um, Kiwi jumpers, yeah. so it was good. It was good to see, man. Um, yeah, stoked for the dude. Mm-hmm. Who do you reckon is the best players that you ever played with? Ever played with? Like, if you had to choose like a team, oh, like a fullback, wing, or centre. So you want me to choose a team? Yeah, best we'll players. Go full, we'll go fullback. So if I'm going fullback and I'm going on form now, like if I like not from when I played with them, but going on what I when, was when they're in their yeah. prime. Oh. Nice. Man, just, that's a tough one. Just touch the mouse. The mouse oh. pad. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. 
Tedesco fullback. Oh, oh yeah, that's, that's a good shout. But as, as, but you uh, did play with Roger. So I know, and this is the thing. <laughs> <I'm> not, <laughs> but this is the thing. I want to put. I want both. Yeah, we can end the debate now. Who's better, Teddy or or Roger? Nah, they're they're different, bro. It's a different, they're, different, they're they different. are. But it's like if you if you put Roger in that Roosters team, Roger's doing the same as what Tedesco's doing. You're right. You're right. It's just he's have to carry a lot of more load in the Warriors team. You know. Does Tedesco win the Dally M at the Warriors? Yeah, no, that's a good point. I think he Maybe, does. No, no, I don't, I don't think know. So. I don't know. Maybe not because he didn't do that well with the tie. Well, he, he was okay. He was a beast. That was hard. He wasn't yeah. like. That's that's a great now. point, actually. That, that's a that's a good way of looking at it. But the only reason I want him in is because I know Tedesco is one of the best <laughs> in the world, and he's Tedesco and. He's not really a winger, whereas I can put. Yeah, you've you've seen Roger. No one else has ever stepped someone to the sideline. <laughs> to, to the, the sideline. Yeah. <laughs> he did it twice as well. Oh, <laughs> so I was like, I'd put Roger on the one wing. Yeah, this is the other one. This is a tough one, Mo. You've got, you've got Bo I've got Fusatua. I've got Bo Ryan, Fusatua. Mamalo. Uh, Kenny Mamalo now, but then you think back, Manu. Oh. Do you think yeah. back, Matt Utai? Oh, Lottie Takiri. Lottie Takiri. I'm like, bro, do I have to? Make <laughs> Who is your wing at the Sharks? Who are your wingers at the Sharks? Uh, it's just going to be no Sharks players in here. Oh. Sasaya Ficky? Nah, not really. Was, was Ben Barber at the Sharks with you? Yes, my second year, yep. But he, I wouldn't have him in front of Roger to this guy. I'd put Roger on a wing just because into this game. Bro, this is so hard. Roger as a, like, Roger as a winger was like, it could be yeah, the no. best wing of all time. And then Roger as a fullback would be the best fullback. That's crazy. It's I'd crazy. Put, I don't know who... Oh, I don't know how I'm going to put another wing, bro. This is on the spot. I'd have to sit down and think about this, but um, like in the, the centers. <laughs> in we'll the put, centers. We'll put, are we going to put you in the centers? Nah, surely. No way. Then, um, <laughs> I'd have Chris Lawrence oh, yeah. in one center, and I would have. This is a cracking team, bro. Bro, who would I have in a. I'll probably have Jenko in the other centers. Jennings? Good shot, yeah. Michael Jennings in the other centers. The halves. Halves would be uh, Benji Marshall. Obviously, and a lot of people think I'd say Sean Johnson, but I'm gonna go Robert Louis. Robert Louis, oh. yeah. Well, I haven't heard that name in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's over in England now, but yeah. he was so much a part of our 2010 2011 side yeah. that. What did he play hooker? He played half, half. Oh, okay. seven, but seven, he eight. was. Bro, he had some trouble off the field, which sort of he had to go to England and play to find a contract. But he was man in his time, like if he stayed in that two. 2010, 2011 form. Yeah. We'd still be talking about him now. He'd still be somewhere. Jeez. But he, I'd, I'd put him a Benji 7 or 6. There's a I love I love Shawnee, but sorry, bro. Um, <laughs> if you had Benji and Sean in the same team, that's yeah. a cracker. Oh, but man. then for, oh, for Kiwis, that's pretty cracker. Yeah. No, you, everyone would get step. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pass the yeah. step. step. Um, where are we at? Front rows. Front rows. Um, oh, jeez. What's he? Nah. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I was, I was never even as a New South Wales fan. I was never the biggest Aaron Woods fan. I know. Oh, you, I, I love uh, Woods. He's that's good, probably one of my mates. But I just, yeah, he's he's one of my. He's he's a good mate, but like he's a rock solid dude. I remember him coming and playing twenties. Um, that first year of the twenties, yeah, yeah, started and he was yeah he was I was there the first year and he was only eighteen, come up and played and then Josh McGuire tried to put it on me and. Woodsy come flying in, young eighteen year old, like boom, like, ready to shape up. I'm like, yeah, this guy's the man. Yeah, that's my guy. That's my man. Um, <laughs> and he had the, well, did, did he have the long hair still? Back nah, then? he was he was short. He was shaved oh, when he was younger. Yeah, but um, now nah, I'd probably have um, Bryce Gibbs. Bryce Gibbs oh. is a beast, actually. Yeah, yeah. but that, just purely the fact of like he's good to have around the team, and if you want someone to put on a shot or run out of the line, he run out of line. Make some big hits, tackle, yeah. and he'd, he'd like cut the ball up all day. Like he's pretty fit. I'd have him. Um, I'm trying to think of all the play, all the front runs I play with now. You play uh, tons, yeah, because it kind of interchangeable. You get four in a. Yeah, I'm just trying to think now. I'm like, oh, I don't know, man. I'd. Ah, uh, <laughs> spot. <laughs> I'd probably have maybe Keith Galloway as well, my other my other front row at the Tigers. I used to be scared of him when I was in primary school. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> he's like we're watching him. He's scary, dude. Oh, geez, like. <laughs> And but then, up, uh, I thought like, it wasn't his second row. He wasn't a second nah, row. Nah, Keith was front row. But then, uh, like, I'd want to put like Sam Lasani in as well, mm -hmm. just because he's ball playing and like he can be he can be so good, Sammy. Like he gets his like yeah, he's he, a bit on the tire, a bit a bit of his time with the Titans. I know over the preseason when we started back now this year, he sort of watched what he ate and did real good, and yep. he come on and he was playing some good footy. So, but um, I don't know. I'd probably have him. I uh, probably have Keithy and Bryce just because yeah. I can't really remember the Sharks days too well. Um, oh, Fafita actually, 
Arcachel. I'll put for feeder in one of them. I don't know who to take out though, so I'll have yeah. three front rolls. Um, <laughs> my hooker is Farah. Robbie. Yep. Yep. No doubt about that. He's speaks for himself. Australia, New South Wales, Lebanon. Played he's 300 free. games, I think. Yep, 300. Yeah, but he's 300. a freak. Good bloke too. Didn't him and Benji have their 300 on the same fatter. day, wasn't it? No. Uh, it would have been close. <laughs> yeah. Back rowers. All right. So back rowers, I'd have... You've played of, I reckon you've played of some cracking back rowers. Yeah, right? I have, man. Like Ashford in the back row. <laughs> <laughs> Simon Mannering? Oh, jeez. Nah, so my back row would be Gareth Ellis. Oh, The Englishman. Yeah. So he he was, but there's no one, he's like a Simon Mannering, like he would, no one would get through him. He'd put massive hits on when he runs and he'd go all day like he's a freak. Still playing at 38, 39 over in England. Oh, England, oh yeah. geez. Top flight two with Hull. So he's playing over there with like Lingi Sao and Mahe Fanu and all them at the moment. Yep. He's in their team. Um, so he'd be one second row. The other one would be Liam Fulton. So not so, I don't know how many people remember Liam Fulton. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, but he was a, I think he might have went to Patricia Butler's Black Town. Did or he? did he go to Westfields? One of them. Oh, there, there. I remember there's Parramatta as well. Yeah. Oh, Parramatta. Oh, and Fairfield Pats as well. Yeah. Oh, but I, he was a good teammate and he'd always, there's a thing we used to do in the media. He goes, because um, he was like a, a real funny guy, Fultz, uh, yeah. and he was good to have around the team. And, and him and Gibbo are like crazy as each other. So it's good <laughs> that they're in my team. Like they'd bring the spirits up. And all of the t- reasons we won were because of the team morale. So like yeah. you'd win majority of games just from that. But they, I remember when we used to go to the media, he'd go, all right, this is what we'll do. Whenever I get asked a question, I'll bring it back to you. Like they'll go, Oh, who went good on the weekend? He goes, Even if you dropped four balls, I go, Oh, Blake Ashford was good on the weekend. He was just like outstanding. It's what we want from a young kid. And then when I get interviewed, I'd speak him up. So it's like <laughs> the little thing we had. And then you just, we'd always be in the media, always put ourselves in opportunities. <laughs> so I love fools. But then at lock, I'd have Simon Mannering. Oh, not home yeah. Nah, man. I'd, like Simon Mannering's to me, if he went to Australia, he'd be. Like so, in Australia, people don't realize how good he was. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I read him. Yeah, because then he obviously didn't watch all the Warriors. Yeah, game. like oh, he's just someone Manning who's never going to let you down. Mm-hmm. Who will yeah. always carry the ball, and he's got good footwork and a offload. Yeah, and bro, a lot of people don't know. And then it's with a lot of rugby league, a lot of people bag people without knowing what's in the. Like he played for a lot of years injured. He was getting mm-hmm. like a needle or he was busted he's or like something. He's like a Richie McCall. But yeah, bro, exactly. And that's why he. Sh- that's why it's. It's a bit shit that he's not held up in that same regard. Yeah, but yeah, that's just yeah. the way that it is in New Zealand that yeah. rugby union, all blacks are here. New Zealand and he's a, he was one of the best to ever play for the Kiwis, Kiwis as, as well. well. Yeah. So he should be up there with Richie, but it's just the way it is in New Zealand. And in Australia, because he never went to Australia, people always um, hold that against him, I think, mm-hmm. sort of. Yeah. But it, it shouldn't be because he went over there and played against the best yeah. won a World Cup. Yeah, he's done everything yeah. else besides the NRL, like yeah, sure like, he's done everything he's else he's been can. played in the NRL grand final just not, not won it you know yeah. so but he would be my lock man and if I was to start a team him and Gary Phillips would be the two people that I'd start a team with and right. just build around just that build around them because yeah. I remember I mean, he had one bad game like in, in his last few years and I remember yeah. like like vividly saying that's the first bad game I've ever seen right. yeah. <laughs> but like the first bad game he, I can't even remember his bad he probably like dropped like three balls but the thing made like, made, 60, like 60, 60 tackles, 60 tackles yeah. like, you know it's just funny like yeah, but bro, that, that was hard, man. Yeah, that's a cracking team. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, that is a cracking but team. But like, there's people that, like, with the people that I played with, I, I know I'm forgetting people, but like, I'm still, like, I'm yeah. like, bro, like, Matt Utah, loads of Kiri, plays like Manu, all these boys that I played with, it's just crazy. Like, I said, Hyington, some of all these players, and can't fit them in a squad, but yeah, um, whereas, yeah, that's, yeah, I'm that's happy a- that, yeah. Look back at with that squad. Played that, bro. Yeah. But that's the thing in our role. The thing I always, um, and I go back to that mentality thing. The thing you want to get out of it is it's not the fame, not the notoriety. It's the, in the end, you, because you travel around rugby league so much and you don't always settle or live after footy where you grew up. So for me, you want to have enough money to have saved and to um, bought a house. Yeah. yeah. And you want to know where you want to live. And for me, like I've ticked those boxes, like I've bought a house in Papua Moore and I've, I know like I want to live in New Zealand now. So for me, bro, I'm like stoked, like happy with what I did. And even though all I've been remembered for is the Sivo, (laughs) it is what it is, bro, you know? No, we knew, don't worry, in Australia, we we know you. Yeah, <laughs> not much people know, but uh, we know you in Australia. Yeah, no, I mean, I like it, that, that's the thing you're talking about the, the whole other side of rugby league than on field. The whole when players managing your finances, man, yeah. managing sort of a career after you 
after you finish and I guess you've been lucky you're on Warriors TV you get to do yeah. some stuff with Sky Sports yeah. so like, do you have any advice for some of these players now who are you know getting lots and lots of money at quite a young age like you saw I think there's a 16 year old who's been offered like yeah, 1.5 yeah, yeah. million of countries you know? so do you have any <laughs> <laughs> so do you have any ad- advice um, for them you know after have going gone through your you know career um, it's not I don't know if it's too much advice like I for me, I was lucky that I had my mum, who mm. is a smart lady, and sort of made me buy my first property um, when I got my first big contract. Yeah. So, I suppose, like for me, that was sort of put my money in in a house, so I know it can build, and I'll, I'll have something. So even yeah. if my footy career was to end yeah, yeah. after those two years, I still had a house where if everything was that I could go there and live, yeah. you know, like I'm not going to yeah. be out on the street and doing stuff. So um, for me, it's put your money into something that, you know, will last. Like don't go buy a car. Like but I drive yeah. around in a Toyota Camry. I have for, <laughs> I have for like 15 years. And the reason I do that is because they last 10 years. Yeah. They're, you know, and I'm, I'm not big on cars, but bro, you don't need to go buy a $30,000 car where in mm-hmm. 10 years it's going to be worth 10, but uh, 10,000 or yeah. less, you know, it's the same like you buy property and you invest yeah even if it's not going to go up like a lot of properties in queensland i know didn't go up but they stay the same like Mm -hmm. you're you're going to have your money in something yeah Yeah. so yeah for me like i was lucky bro like i was a like we already said i was like to go out and party Mm -hmm. um i like to gamble i like to i like to gamble i like to drink i like to yeah (laughs) like everything bro (laughs) so like i was i I was bad um i've gotten better but like it's still um Knowing what you can afford to do, uh, yeah, and what you can't, and like look to it. now that I've got kids, obviously that all changes as well. Mm-hmm. So, but no, I was a good man. I was happy with um, the career. Like I said, not much advice except put money where you know it's going to grow. Don't put it in something that's going to decrease yeah. in value. Some that's some yeah. smart finances yeah. right there. Mm. Probably start to wind it down a bit, eh? But um, Mud said that there's always sports on at home. Yeah, bro. So what besides rugby league? Like yeah. what other sports? Oh man, like I'm. Um, I mean, everything. Um, I love AFL. I know it's really? big over here. Yeah. And the reason I do is because they run double what the NRL run in a game. Like distance. Catch yeah, 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 yeah. True. And the, when you see them go up for marks and stuff. Oh, like the they, knee in the back. Yeah, knee. knee in the back. Or like a dude's coming this way, gets elbowed. And like the courage to take that. And the mm. thing I couldn't take is when they um, the, niggle with each other, yeah. like that stuff. And I'm like, if someone does it, I'd, I'd get in shock because I would like I'd get frustrated <laughs> get, and I'd want to punch someone or something like that like I don't know how they don't get frustrated and punch but I, like, I love AFL I love rugby union um, yeah. I hate to see like Wallabies and Waratahs fans so it hasn't been good over the last <laughs> thing but the thing with me is I stay strong with my team yeah, you, come yeah. home, so, you know yeah I know but like, he hasn't been the best in rugby union <laughs> you know but the thing about me is I stay strong with my teams I'm Boston Celtics yeah yeah, yeah, yeah and us Jane yeah. Brown Jason's had him best de- doer yeah. in the league see but like Yuck. I was about to see I was with him when like back before like we won that you title stayed. but then we had I Jeff Green with, yeah and we had Jeff Green we had, the rest. we had, we had so, Jeff Green or Von Wafer yeah. Avery Bradley and we were winning 14 games a year exactly stay with Coach oh. Stevens all that but like with that with the Ravens from back when I was with the Tigers, I started going for them, and now I'm just happy that I stay with them because now we've got Lamar, no, Jackson. Lamar Jackson. <laughs> yeah, so like I love bro, any and you had Joe Flacco as well. Just <laughs> yeah, Jackson, he was the one that won a Super Bowl yeah. and got paid. So, but that's the thing, bro. I like any mm. sport that keep me there. I even like golf now because I can. I like to go out and play golf. Oh yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, so it's I feel like, like golf is like a like an athlete sport, like athlete to they're, they're like you know. They love people like sports, yeah. They, they like to try. The thing is, it's fun. Like you watch them do it, and people do it, and they're so annoying how they make it look so easy. And I know they practice heaps. Yeah, no, right? but it does. It looks. But it looks so easy, and then when you do it, it's almost like, like Greg English and run down the sideline. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> people make it look so. But like, see, I like, I like playing golf. So I can watch golf. I like watching tennis. I like I, any sport, the man. Sport, any it? sport, yeah. There's not too many except baseball. Baseball. Oh, I'm not, just long. Yeah, it's long. That's the thing mm. that uh, that and ice hockey. I'm yeah, not really into those two, but do you watch football like soccer? Yep, yep. If 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 it's on. If, it, if it's a good game on, mm. I tend to. Watch. I'm more into every four years the World Cup. Like I'll sit up and watch all the World Cup games and yeah, stuff like that's that. That's cool. But um, the ones during the year, it's usually only if I got a bet on, I'll be like oh, <laughs> <laughs> the most. Yeah, yeah. 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 But no, the rest of it, I like. Um, 
I like all the other sports. And they're the American sports, bro. I love the American yeah. sports. American yeah. sports have blown up in New Zealand over the last few yeah, years. Yeah, especially so basketball. basketball, yeah. basketball so I heard, everyone plays basketball here. Well, I heard last, I was on podcast uh, last night that I'm doing, and we spoke about they bring the M- trying to bring the NBA to New Zealand. Oh, that's yeah, crack up. Like, Adam, like, like we've we've had the Blakers play them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pumped, but like, and oh, even Oklahoma a, when Trey Young was in Oklahoma, they came here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was he just came to a, my school. I met um, him. Oh my god. Hey. Mm, yeah. Yeah. When Chae Young yeah, came to our school, and you yeah, outshot him on the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, how to shoot. Like, you taught him how to shoot threes. Though. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> he would not be where he is now. <laughs> <laughs> without you, no. Yeah, no, they came with Oklahoma and they played like a New Zealand select team. Yeah, you know they beat us like fifty something. <laughs> but they played at our school, so. Why well, like, uh university? Oklahoma yeah, university? so like oh, yeah. their college team came in. Oh, that's mean. Yeah, but that's uh, it's, yeah. I don't think it's uh, when I heard it on a podcast. It was um that Rachel Nichols, who's a reporter, who's in yeah. the bubble, and she's trying to get. The, oh, they were talking about oh, how good it would be to come here and play, and I was like, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's because like, it's because we got like low restrictions in that as well. Yeah, as I was saying. done it the bit. They said, oh, New Zealand's done it the best out of any country, and you can see Facts. the results now. Like Facts. they've got, and everyone, yeah. that's why rugby union's blown up because they can see, oh, look, like, yeah, look how many people. How good is it to have fans at the thing? Yeah. The, the Blues know? packed out a stadium. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't packing out stadiums when there wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you watch um UFC? Yeah, I love UFC. Yeah. So, how do you feel about CKB and all the like the Israel Asanya and the, the New Zealand yep. fighters? I love. Oh, are you supporting Rob Whitaker? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love Rob Whitaker too, yeah. bro. I love Rob Whitaker too. So he went as uh, the dude who uh, in the US fought, UFC fight on the weekend. One of his trainers used to be our wrestle coach at Sharks. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so we really? used to go to Rob Whitaker's gym um, at Miranda, and we used oh, to cool. roll and wrestle on that. And Rob was still. It wasn't with the UFC then. This was. Yeah. This was obviously. F- oh. There was before he was in the Ultimate Fighter. Uh, okay. Yeah, so just before he was in the Ultimate Fighter, and we were um, went to his gym, and it was crazy like seeing him now. I'm like, oh, I train with that guy. Remember me? Remember yeah. Me? <laughs> but now, I, I, after one of our games last year, I hopped in the elevator at uh, Brighton, and Whitaker got in with his wife, and I stood there, I was like starstruck. And then it was before he fought Adesanya. Oh, oh really? Right so yeah, he's champ. yeah. <laughs> he was champ, and I was like, I got out, and as I was getting out, I didn't want to be that dude. He was with his wife. Oh, go to Sophie. So I just like. Acted like I wasn't starstruck, but I was. And I just got out and I was like, oh, good luck on the weekend, champ. He's like, oh, thanks, Blake. Nah, he didn't say that. would be good though. He said, Blake. Nah, he's like, oh, thanks, thanks, mate. Um, appreciate it. Thank you, my like, best friend. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, um, oh, I was like, yeah. He said, thanks, <laughs> thanks mate. So, no, nah, but he was, uh, I, like, I love what Adesanya does, bro. He's the man. And mm-hmm. I, I've, I spoke to Kai Kata France before. I know yeah, you, he was you a fellow yeah. yeah. And he, he's a real cool dude, man. He's, yeah, he's um, a great guy. And he's like, um, it's cool. I follow him on Insta and that, and see him do weights, and they all have fun at that. Oh, he did lift two hundred and five. Crazy, yeah. yeah. That's he's, he's like sixty kg. Mm. That's yeah, bad. I'm like eighty kg. <laughs> yeah, did lifting sixty kg. Very now it's they're, they're cool, man. To see yeah, and no. out of Sanya will fight. He's even Costa next. Costa, yeah. Yeah. September twelfth. He's such yeah, a freak, bro. The things yeah. that he does. But it was good, man, to see Whitaker win on the weekend. Obviously, I'm still <laughs> he's. Aussie New Zealand yeah, I like, yeah. like as you know I still follow all the Aussies like Vol- Volkanovski. Volkanovski even though he probably didn't win that last fight it was good yeah to I win a maximum so. yeah but <laughs> it was good like man like it was good to see the Australia and New Zealand coming up and like dominating like, they should have more the New I don't know Z- why yeah. they don't do the UFC down here yeah, they like, should because well, the New Zealand I mean, fighters are dominating, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. I think besides Dana's Hooker, thinking about because we can have crowds and yeah. it'll be the only event that I can make decent money off. So exactly, man. Do like Eden Park? Yeah, that oh, that'd be, that'd be awesome. Uh, Eden Park. Yeah. yeah. What if it rains? It just, always rains. Just throw the, that tent thing that they do in WWE, like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. There from the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone else can get wet. I'm sure they'll sit down and watch it. I'll sit down and watch it in the in the rain. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what about who? Who's the greatest rugby league player of all time? Wow, that's a bro. Uh, Joey, oh. Cam be up thick. Oh, oh Cameron Smith. <laughs> <laughs> bro, there's so many. Like growing up, you know, but then you obviously can't go past Cameron Smith just yeah. because. Yeah. He does everything that like he doesn't. He doesn't look like years old. He's still like. But you look at him. He doesn't look like a rugby. Like he doesn't look. I've always said that. Like if I, he could be in a suit and I'd be like, you, you work in a. He's a lawyer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) But the thing is, like, he's played. It's not like he's a center or a halfback out wide. He's been in the middle of the field, having to tackle all the big guys. But the thing is, he doesn't play it. Everyone, he brings everyone to his own pace. So it's like. What's a movie where everything just slows down for you? Like like the, Matrix. Yeah, yeah, Matrix. And yeah. Just, everything just slows down for you. And that's like him. Everything just slows down. It's so good. And I was speaking to people, they reckon like when they're down by like 20, 
um, mm-hmm. in games and he just sits there or like 10 or 20, he just sits there and he's calm. Like where you be in other teams, they're like, bro, he's going to do this. You're going to do that. All right, no more tries. And he just sits there and he's like, all right, they've done this. Let's just relax. <laughs> and they were yeah. like, just calm as. And you're like, bro, this how do you play the like- and he barely gets injured as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. No, and yeah. he played, what, how many games? Like over 300 plays? games. Yeah, and he makes like I think, I think 55 tackles a game. Yeah. Is he on 400 yet? Yeah. He's on 400. To, he's he's more than 400. Bro, he's like, and that's... even for Queensland, he just does the same thing. He just yeah. Dom- dominates the game. Slips games. over on the sideline and still gets the kick over. Oh, man. He's just, yeah. So I don't think there will be... No, yeah, I know they listen. always talk about the sports science and that going longer, but I still reckon he will go again next year. Because he's playing that good. And, and you look at the Storm every year and you're like, Okay, the Storm aren't winning this year. Look at their side. Okay, look at this team. Look at this team. Look at this team. Look how good their side is. And then, the and storm. then storm are in the grand yeah. final, or they're coming second at the moment. Like he loses like, Billy, like, loses Cooper, Cooper, and still one of the best teams in the comp. It's ridiculous, bro. Yeah, he's still yeah, that but, with Jerome Hughes at half. Mm. Jerome Hughes is a beast, though. He is a beast, yeah, but he's you know, beast. it's not Cooper. Yeah. Him and Munster, oh. yeah. but oh, like Munster he's dangerous. Yeah, so he would be Munster. the best day. Eh? Yeah, he would be the best. There's a lot up there, but he'd be an immortal when he retires, bro. Easy. Growing up for me was Jared Hay, no. Before, 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 <laughs> like, I knew that rugby league was more than breaking tackles. Oh, it's Jared Hay. <laughs> Jeez. That, that year when he played for Fiji in the World Cup and just, oh, yeah. <laughs> he was the only player who got the ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give me eight tackle breaks. Three and one. He's, uh, <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Anyways, we appreciate you coming up. Oh, so yeah, we appreciate it. It was a good chat. Yeah. Love talking about yeah, a bit no, of footy. It's been amazing, yeah. Bro. We appreciate it, man. Thanks for coming, Blake. Oh, any any, any yeah. last words for, for the, the OTR audience? Ah, uh, no. Nah. <laughs> Keep us spinning. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, hey.